In this video, we're going to look at how easy it is to set up services on Kong Connect, and then walk through how we'll hook our services into monitoring and logging solutions quickly and simply with Kong plugins. As an introduction, we already have three API services deployed to GCP Cloud Functions. These are simple API servers, a Users API, a Products API, and an Orders API. Each service has two get endpoints, a list all and a get details endpoint, and one post endpoint for creating a resource. Just to demonstrate our users API briefly, we can send a get request with curl to get all users. And there we see the IDs and names of the users returned by our API. We can send a post request with a JSON data payload containing the name of a user, and this creates a user. If we send a GET request to that endpoint with a user's ID as a path parameter, we fetch the details for that single user. The Products and Orders APIs work similarly. Next, let's get set up with Kong Connect. First, we've created a Kong Connect account and we're logged in. Kong Connect requires that you have a Kong Gateway runtime deployed. When your Kong Gateway runtime starts up, it reaches out to Kong Connect, establishing a connection for updates. We've installed our Kong Gateway runtime on our local machine. We're using Kong Gateway Enterprise in free mode at version 2.4.1.1. We need to configure Kong Gateway with certificates for authentication to Kong Connect. We click on Runtimes and then Configure Runtime. Since we have our runtime deployed to our local Linux machine, we click on Linux. Then we click on Generate Certificate. We'll want to copy each of these three strings to their own files. On your local machine, in your etc slash Kong folder, create a subfolder called Certificates. We'll copy the cluster certificate string to a file called tls.crt. The certificate key string we'll copy to a file called tls.key. And the root CA certificate we will copy to a file called ca.crt. Next, we need to configure our Kong Gateway so that it starts up ready to reach out to Kong Connect. On our Kong Connect runtime configuration page, we see a list of configuration parameters. Copy those to your clipboard. Our local Kong installation comes with a kong.conf.default file. We copy that file to a new file called kong.conf. That's the configuration file location that Kong will look to when it starts up. We open that file and, at the bottom, we paste in the configuration parameters we just copied from Kong Connect. For the last three lines of the parameters, we'll need to enter the absolute path to the three certificate-related files that we just created. So, for example, cluster cert should point to etc slash kong slash certificates slash tls.crt. Cluster cert key should point to etc kong certificates slash tls.key. And Lua SSL trusted certificate should point to etc slash kong slash certificates slash ca.crt. We also have one other configuration that we want to modify. At around line 517, we want to set the status listen parameter so that Kong's status API will be exposed for a monitoring tool like Prometheus, which is what we'll be using, to receive metrics. This parameter should be set to 0.0.0.0 colon for port 8001. With our parameters in place, we start up Kong on our local machine. Back at Kong Connect in our Runtime Manager, we refresh the page. 
And there, we see our locally deployed Kong Gateway runtime has connected with Kong Connect. Now, we can begin adding our services. In the Service Hub, we click on Add New Service. Let's add the user's service first. We set a name, version, and description for our service. After creating our service, we navigate to our 1.0 version to create a new implementation. Here, we add the URL for our upstream service. We paste in the URL for our GCP Cloud function, where our user's API resides. We click on Next to configure the route for our service. We set a name for our route, choose the HTTP protocol, since we are running Kong Gateway locally, and then enter the methods to listen for, along with a path that our local Kong proxy should listen on. When we click on Create, our service updates with this new implementation. Kong Connect reaches out to our Kong Gateway runtime and updates it with our new service implementation. Now, when we send a curl request to localhost 8000, that's our Kong proxy, slash users, we see our JSON response with our users. Just to save us some time in this video, I've gone ahead and performed the exact same steps to add our orders API service and our products API service to Kong Connect. Now, we can send a curl request to localhost 8000 slash orders and see our list of orders. And we can send a curl request to localhost 8000 slash products and see our list of products. Next, let's add in monitoring. In Kong Connect, this is quick and simple. For each of our services, we navigate to our latest version. At the bottom, we click on New Plugin. We search for the Prometheus plugin. When we found it, we click on Enable. We can add a tag to our plugin for this service, just to differentiate its metrics from other services also using Prometheus. And we quickly do the same thing for our order service and our products service. Next, we want to update our Prometheus configuration so it knows where to look for metrics. We open up the configuration YAML file, and we set the targets in the scrape configs to look to localhost 8001. And we set our scrape interval to 5 seconds. We start up our Prometheus server in one terminal window, and we start up our Grafana server in another terminal window. In our browser, we pull up Grafana and we log in. First, we will need to add our data source. We'll add a data source called Prometheus, which is located at localhost port 9090. After we've added Prometheus as a data source, we want to add a dashboard for some good visualizations. Fortunately, Kong has an official dashboard for Grafana. In Grafana, we click on the side nav bar to import a new dashboard. Kong's official dashboard has an ID of 7424. We enter it, find the dashboard, select our Prometheus data source, and then click on Import. And with that, we're able to start seeing some visualizations of the monitoring metrics that have come through our services. Next, we're going to add logging to our services by enabling the Logly plugin. This plugin will send log messages from our services to a centralized log management solution. Similar to our enabling of the Prometheus plugin, we go to each service, click on the version, and click on New Plugin. We search for the Logly plugin, and then we enable it. We can add a tag that differentiates this particular service. And for config key, 
we make sure to enter the customer token associated with our Logly account. We perform the same steps for our other two services. With that, our Logly plugin setup is complete. In the background, we made a few additional curl requests to our services just to get some activity there. And then, back in Logly, we start to see some entries from our recent requests to our services. In this demo, we walk through the setup of Kong Connect, configuring a connection with a locally deployed Kong Gateway runtime. We added services to Kong Connect, and then we showed how to enable and configure a monitoring solution with the Prometheus plugin, and a logging solution with the Logly plugin. Thank you for joining us.